Minimize Fish Waste – How to Turn Fish Waste into Something Tasty Did you know that the average utilization rate of fish is less than 50%? That means more than 50% of the entire fish will be unused and therefore discarded. However, Japanese cuisine has a long history of appreciating the blessings from Mother Nature through maximizing the utilization of fish thus turning the parts that are usually thrown away into something tasty and enjoyable. Savory clear fish broth and miso soup. No fishiness. Though we're no stranger to fish soup or fish broth, sometimes these soups or broths have a strong fishy smell and taste which some people may not be so fond of. There are several reasons why the fish broth smells so fishy. By learning how to avoid these mistakes, you can get savory fish broth that is rich in umami with no fishy taste using the parts of the fish that you usually would throw away. Dissection and cleaning. This is one of the key elements to avoid the fishy taste and odor in the fish broth. This dissection and cleaning step removes the body parts of the fish that leads to the unpleasant flavors. The Deba knife. A Japanese knife with a thick blade is the most suited for dissecting the fish. Never use a sashimi knife or a yanagiba knife. These knives have a thin, delicate blade, so the blade could easily get chipped. This is what's left from filleting a sea bream. You can see that the gut is still attached. Now we are going to cut the head open. First, remove the guts. Insert the knife at the base of the liver here and pull the guts out, like this. Now they are removed. Next, place the head vertically. Open the mouth and insert the knife straight into the front teeth. For your safety, use a cloth when you hold the fish with your hand to prevent the knife from slipping and cutting your hand. Note, the knife is single-edged, so if you try to cut the head straight down, the knife might go slightly off to the left. So pay attention, keep the edge facing outward a little bit when cutting straight down. From here, you can split the head open. Here you can see the gills. The middle part is cartilage, a soft tissue, which can be cut without much force. The cuts from the fins here to the mouth should be quite easy. As you can see, the bone here is soft. Now the head is split in two parts. Let's remove the gills. Pinch the gill from the underside with your fingers and insert the knife outward. Cut the joint of the head and pick up the gill with your hand while holding the head down with the knife. Then insert the knife into the base of the eye and pull the gill out to remove it. The gills are now removed. This is the process called nashiwari, cutting the head vertically in half. The gills have been removed and the fish has been lightly rinsed under running water. You can use these half-cut fish head for kamayaki, grilled fish cheeks,